Hey, it's Angela from the blog Angela and Marie Made. Today I'm sharing four DIY IKEA furniture hacks that I've used for pretty home storage. Before we get started though, make sure to subscribe and follow along. I share fun new DIY and decor videos almost every week here on the channel. For all of the DIY IKEA hacks I'm sharing today, I have full step-by-step -step tutorials and material is linked below this video in the description box. The first IKEA hack is a Billy bookcase hack with ship up. I wanted to use the Billy bookcase for extra storage and as a focal point in an office makeover. First, I assembled it per the IKEA directions, but I left the cardboard backing off of it. Next, I found real ship up boards at Lowe's and cut them to size with my miter saw. I also had to make a special cut for the last piece to fit in the remaining gap. The ship up boards were attached with brad nails into the bookcase edges on the back. After some caulking, we finished the bookcase off with oil-based primer and then two coats of paint. We used Blue Note by Benjamin Moore. The last step was installing the IKEA Oxberg doors and some pretty brass round knobs. I think adding the shiplap, the rich blue paint color, and the pretty brass knobs really helped to transform this Billy bookcase into a beautiful focal point of the office makeover. Ikea hack number two is the mom dresser hack. For a bedroom makeover, I gave my old Ikea dresser from college a makeover so it would fit better with the new decor in the space and have more character. I started by making some small repairs and then cleaning it with a degreaser. Next, I used a medium grit sandpaper and lightly hand sanded the dresser and drawer faces just enough to scuff the surface so the paint adhered better. To add character, I added lattice trim cut to size to the drawer faces and top edge with liquid nails and brad nails. I used oil-based primer again because IKEA furniture has a laminate surface. Before painting, I drilled holes for adding knobs. The last steps were to paint and then add the knobs. I used White Dove by Benjamin Moore. For less than $60, I think this was a fabulous IKEA dresser hack that looks great in our bedroom makeover. Ikea hack number three is the Anaboda, I don't know if I'm saying that right, the Anaboda wardrobe. Our Anaboda wardrobe was a Craigslist find that we used for years as extra storage. It wasn't quite fitting my style though and starting to fall apart, so I gave it a fun makeover. First, I removed the broken backing board and the doors. Again, I lightly sanded and primed it with a shellac oil-based primer. From quarter inch plywood, I cut two strips at an angle to add to the doors for a barn door look. I secured them in place with liquid nails and left some paint cans on top to help it dry in place. Finally, from the leftover plywood sheet, I cut a new secure backboard and covered it with some cute plaid fabric using a staple gun. I attached that to the wardrobe with screws. The finishing touch was a new oil rub bronze handle. Ikea hack cost me less than $50 and I love the barn door look and the cute fabric that adds style to it. Ikea hack number four is the Tarva dresser hack. My last Ikea furniture hack is another dresser with the Tarva dresser. I use this dresser in our son's nursery makeover and I love it because it's a really good size and quality and it comes as unfinished wood so it was perfect for doing a custom hack to make it fit with the space. After assembling it, I drilled the pre-drilled leg holes deeper for the plastic floor guard pieces and then cut two and a half inches off of the bottom of each of the five dresser legs to shorten the dresser height. 
Next, I cut base board trim to size with a bevel cut using my miter saw to cover the dresser legs and installed them with brad nails. Looking back, I should have also used wood glue on this. To prep for paint, we caulked all the seams, filled the nail holes with spackle, and primed all the bare wood. I painted it Kendall Charcoal by Benjamin Moore and finished it off with some really cute oil rub bronze mushroom style knobs. I love the classic rustic style look. It was perfect for a son's nursery makeover. All of my IKEA furniture hacks have been such a fun transformation that were also budget friendly. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching and please subscribe for more fun DIY and decor videos.